Hey folks, Jason with Time in the Outdoors. Sorry about the backlighting here. I'm going off for my first bow hunt of the year right now. So It's a kind of central Wisconsin public land. Wish me luck. Hey everybody, it's day two. Uh, heading out to go bow hunting again. I'm out uh, for another hunt real quick. This is going to be a quick one, about an hour and a half after I get set up. Heading out again. It's October 14th. We just had a big rain system move through. Time to go at it again, everyone. It's October 16th. And uh, heading out to a very small wood plot. everybody it's uh, now the 22nd of October and I'm uh, heading out for a morning hunt uh, this is a hanging hunt sort of deal public land central Wisconsin see how this goes I say that a lot see how this goes but that's what we're gonna do see how this goes thanks for tuning in more from the stand There is just something absolutely magical about a morning hunt. Be it a duck hunt or a deer hunt like this, I just find it absolutely just amazing to be out in nature and to see this. When I first got set up off to the left out there, I saw a buck and a doe come by, uh, and that was pretty darn cool right off the bat. You know you are still into deer hunting when your heart is just beating so fast when you see a deer. God, there's nothing like that. For those of you that have never experienced it, it's, it's simply amazing. I have learned also that you can drink coffee in the woods. Yes, that's my opinion, but I love my morning coffee. So I always bring some with me. So if you're going out in the morning for a morning hunt, consider doing that. Let's kick back and watch the rest of this hunt. still gonna wait a good hour before I go check this out. 
is public property in central Wisconsin. This is pretty cool. So he came in right over that way. I fumbled around for my Tacticam remote, but I finally found it. And then um, he turned and went that direction. And I nailed him with the center point uh, crossbow. Looked like a really good hit. He went just a little way over that direction. And then crashed, it sounded like, into the big brush back there. He didn't go real far. So I think, I'll, uh, like I said, I'm just going to wait about an hour. And then we're going to go find him. It is, uh, I shot him at about 7.44 this morning. So pretty cool. Everybody, it's been an hour. I'm running low on battery, so I'm going to be getting down and then uh, going tracking here in just a second. Um, it, I just saw another buck. You see him on the camera. It's been a cool morning so far, but uh, it's time to go down and see the one I got. Um, I reviewed the footage on the Tacticam. Definitely looks like a kill shot, so I think he's just going to be a little bit. It's been an hour. Um, normally, I would wait a little longer, but um, I heard him crash, so that's usually a really good sign for something like that. And Plus, I reviewed the footage. It looks like a double lung. Um, back just maybe a little hair a little farther than I want but really good shot um it's gonna work so let's go uh find my deer all right everyone we're on the ground we're gonna go start tracking that deer in just a second here um last time I saw him he was right off that direction right over there looked like a good hit I I heard him crash I think he he's down so it shouldn't be a problem it's been an hour it's about, uh, I'm going to check the time, but it's probably about 9 o'clock right now. So anyways, we're going to go look for him, hit him at 8.44, so it's been a while. All right, more on the track. So... That was kind of a low set on that tree stand this morning. I didn't have a lot of options, um, but it seemed to have worked. So where I shot him was right over this way. Last time I saw him was right over there. So we're just gonna kinda Look for some blood, some sign, whatever we can. wasn't a far shot. I don't see the arrow. through there. There's a bunch of blood, so this is good. Oh yeah, real high splurting blood. Oh, fantastic. Mm. 
lot, a lot of blood. Good blood trail. More blood. Last I heard him was off that way. We got a lot of blood right there. There, 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 there. Yeah, it's gonna be a dead deer. Oh, it's like a good blood trail. That's what you wanna see. Really good blood trail. All right, we got, okay, more blood. Some more down there. Oh, there he is. Sweet. Oh, he piled up good. Oh, he's not huge or anything, but it's a buck. Hey, look at that. All right, yeah, he's a little guy, but I'll take him. Oh, thank you, Lord. That is so sweet. I'm going to get out my phone get a couple pictures here, but... Wow, a lot of blood. Yeah, that's definitely a dead deer. So, sweet. Not huge, but um, that's public land, so I'm, I'm really tickled. I'm happy as hell right now. Very pleased. Very pleased. Wish it was a little bigger, but... You know what? That's that's good. That's real good. All right, gonna get a couple pictures while he's there because that's kind of cool how he piled up. Sweet. Well, let's get him out of here. Get a good look at him now. Well, he's little, but you know what? I'm happy. It's a deer. Uh, this is a public land buck, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, a little year and a half, but still. Oh yeah, nice pass through. Well, here he is everyone. That is not a very big buck, but this is a public land deer and I'm very proud of this deer. My dad once said, and I really, I really like what he said. Every deer is a trophy. You think about that. He took a lot of effort. You saw all the hunts I've been on. Is he huge? Oh, God, no. Am I very happy with him? Oh, yeah. This is great. I'm very pleased. You know, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate everyone that tunes in. I know I don't have a large following, but I just enjoy filming and being outside and doing this sort of thing. So I'm going to get this guy all field dressed um, and then taking over the processor. So. Things are great.
I had a really, really good day. It's October 22nd. More to come this fall. We've got a bunch of doe tags. Got my gun tags still, so pretty sweet. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your time in the outdoors.